So here's some of the recommendations that I made in the uh, Fracture Lines report. The first is that we need government and indus industry to get really serious about funding uh, studies of aquifers because aquifers stand to be damaged by this activity. Aquifers may also be the source of water. Some of those pits that I showed you earlier on were fed by groundwater. Pumps pumping 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days of the year to provide water for this industry. We need full public disclosure of all the chemicals that are being used. I can tell you from research I've done, there are countless industries in this province that are regulated in terms of the hazardous waste they produce. This industry should be required to disclose the chemicals that it uses. There should be mandatory tests on the integrity of wells because if wells are not constructed properly, there can be problems. A uh, classic case of a big, big problem uh, occurred in the Gulf of Mexico. And the reason that that problem occurred was because of a very poor cement job at the well. Had that well been tested before being brought into production, we might not have had the worst oil spill uh, in, 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 uh, in, in the ocean today. Environmental regulators, not energy company regulators, ought to be the regulators that are making decisions on our behalf about who gets water and how much uh, they get and where they use it and how they pump it. I think that we ought to be setting thresholds beyond which there would be mandatory environmental assessments. Uh, this is a very common practice uh, uh, in environmental uh, assessment circles. You go beyond a certain level, the project becomes assessed. All toxic wastewater that's produced ought to be captured, it ought to be securely stored, and it ought to be treated for reuse because if we can reuse that water, it means that there's less fresh water that the industry has to go find. We should be finding creative ways to encourage companies at every step of the way to uh, not use fresh water, but use other sources of water for fracking. All hazardous and toxic wastes should be safely transported to approved wastewater treatment uh, facilities. We should be introducing a production tax on all shale gas produced to help to pay for some of these regulations that I've just told you about. There should be mandatory requirements for government and industry together to invest and test wells to ensure that we're not placing too many wells too close together because when that happens there are problems and I can talk about that later. Industry should be required to report all water withdrawals, where the water they take is used uh, for fracking purposes and all of the toxic wastewater they produce and where they take that toxic wastewater for disposal. And we should require that there be rigorous uh, greenhouse gas reporting uh, by this industry. At the end of the day, this industry is probably one of the most energy intensive natural gas producing industries in the world. And it's a very real likelihood that much of the energy intensive gas that we produce in Northeast British Columbia will end up going to the most energy intensive oil producer in the world next door in Alberta so that we can have more tar sands production. And finally, I think we need to be looking very seriously at areas that the industry sh simply should not be allowed to go into because there are other values that are, are of overriding importance that, that we need protected. And I'll tell you, one of the interesting things about uh, doing the report for the Monk School, um, there was an energy company representative who was a, among those to criticize my paper and was not very happy because he had, uh, his company had a lot of holdings in Quebec. And he was worried back in October that the outcome might be that all of his investments there uh, were, were, were in danger. And it turned out that he was correct to be worried. But having criticized the report, he was pro his company was progressive enough that they could say publicly in a forum that he felt that they could live with these recommendations. And you know, I, I think if, we, if we're hearing that from a, a, an energy company, then we should be holding the energy companies to account and, and insisting that they have to live by rules like this. So in closing, I, I want to urge you to get involved. Uh, as I said, uh, this is an issue that is not just an issue that affects people in the northeast of the province. It affects us all. We're all connected in with this story. We all need to be involved. We all need to insist that it is an issue that needs to be addressed by our provincial government.